Life is full of problems. They could be marital, financial, spiritual, or medical. Some of these problems can be solved by a phone call, money, political power, your doctor, or your contacts. However, you may soon come across a problem that defies any solution. In Kakrabading's book, Rules of Engagement, you will learn how to use the spiritual weapon of prayer and be victorious over evil when it comes knocking at your door. Now is the time to learn how to pray before the evil days come. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Rules of Engagement at the comment section or message window. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Kakra began an empowering message titled, How to Face an Uncertain Future, based on the prophecy of Jesus in Luke 21, verses 25 to 28. Today, he shares the first key to surviving an uncertain future. Let's join in. Luke chapter 21, reading from verse 24, Jesus said, They shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trampled down, trampled down by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. 25, he said, and there shall be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars. And upon the earth, distresses of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. 26, men's hearts feeling them for fear and for looking upon those things which are coming upon the earth, for the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Wow. Now, these are the words of prophecy from Jesus. Now, from these few scriptures that I read, Jesus gave four key prophecies. Number one, it said Jerusalem will be destroyed. That prophecy came to pass long ago in AD 70. So that one has, has come to pass. Number two, he said, there will be signs in the heavens, which means the sun, and he said, the sun, the moon, and the stars. In other words, we are going to see cosmic signs, but today, that's not my focus, so I'll go to the next sign. The next sign, sign number three, he said, the distresses of nations with perplexity. That's where my interest lies. Now, the distresses of nations, it means the pain of the nations. As of now, many nations are going through pain. Economically, people are losing their jobs. Now you can't even travel. You can't go anywhere. You can't leave your own country and go to another place. But you know what? Jesus prophesied. He said, the distresses of nations. Not one nation, nations. So it tells me that what we are going through was foreseen many years ago by the Lord. And he said not only that, there will be perplexity. Perplexity, mean, perplexity means confusion. People won't know what to do. You know that even when you watch the news, you know the politicians don't know what to do. Before, when you wake up in the morning sometimes in your own house, for the next two weeks, if you are, if you are under quarantine, the question is when you get up, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to earn income if you have lost your job? So there seem to be a lot of questions. So he said, with perplexity. The fourth sign, is says the sea and the waves roaring. That one reminds me of tsunamis. I remember the tsunamis in Southeast Asia some years back. About a quarter of a million people died. So I can see that that one has also come to pass. But like I said, our focus is on the third sign. When Jesus said, the distresses or the pain of the nations with perplexity. So what do you do? I'm going to give you some keys. Number one is the key of avoidance. What does it mean? It means that sometimes when there's a problem, the best way to solve the problem is to avoid it. That's all. You know, when Jesus gave this prophecy that Jerusalem will be destroyed, he also gave them a key. In Luke chapter 12, verse 21, verse 20, he said, When you see Jerusalem compassed or surrounded with armies, know therefore that the, del the desolation is nigh. So Jesus said that they will see Jerusalem surrounded by soldiers. And he said, when that time comes, he said, let them that are in Judea flee to the mountains. In other words, 
run away from the problem. Avoid the problem. Then he said, let them which are in the midst of the city depart out of it. In other words, those who are living in the center of the city, they should go out. Then he said, let not them which are in the countries enter there into. Then he said, those who are outside, they shouldn't come in. The key of avoidance. So for example, in the days of corona, uh, coronavirus, as you mean there's an area that has a high incidence of coronavirus, then practically speaking, use the key of avoidance. What it means is that you shouldn't go to that area. You should, you should rather run away from that area. But you know, when that thing happened, a lot of people did not take heed to this prophecy. A lot of people died in Jerusalem when the Romans surrounded the place. Instead of running, they started praying. So I want you to observe the physical things that can help you to escape this coronavirus. We've heard about social distancing, that they should be about two meters, you should be about two, two meters away from another person. Because when you do that, then you keep yourself, you avoid the problem of the person transmitting it to you. We've heard about hand washing. We've also heard about isolation, that sometimes you have to isolate yourself so that you don't expose yourself. So this is a very powerful key which works in prophecy. And I believe that as you do that, God will keep you. Thanks for joining us on today's broadcast. Today we learned that to face an uncertain future, we must use the key of avoidance. Join us same time tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. My mom is healed. Dear Kakra, I sent you a message about my mother's sickness and you replied that you had prayed for her. God has been good. She was discharged yesterday and is now well and can walk. Thanks be to God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 70 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.